Welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode we defeated the uh, little dreadnought there and we are currently working on restoring it. So uh, other than that we are uh, just rambling along trying to get enough resources to build more megastructures and things like that. But we are in a very good shape, I'd say. I wonder how we are compared... Yeah, we're still underwhelming compared to the uh, Fallen Empires. Aha! The Huntress. Archaeologists excavating the Hunting Lodge have stumbled upon several references to a legendary Retarax warrior known only as the Huntress. She was apparently their most efficient killer, renowned throughout the domain for having personally butchered thousands of aliens at Macvael. It is unclear whether this is based on fact or fiction, but according to Retarax legend, the Huntress was killed somewhere inside the valley when she was outwitted by the alien prey she was pursuing. She was supposedly wielding the fabled Blade of the Huntress at the time. Curious. Difficulty 6. It's still easy. Hopefully we get a better result than 14. It might be the final chapter, I'm not sure. So many things to pay attention to now. Although I have to admit, I find that fun. <laughs> Maybe I'm strange. Move these fleets back to grasses. build something here so we will build how is the slave population on this planet i wonder six slaves so we want to have a slave processing facility here as well temple of sepiotheothis here we need a gene clinic good I wish I could rearrange these, like move it up there. Would make it easier for me to uh, know which is what. Ring world section restored. So we have another ring world section. And we will, of course, colonize that as well. And this will be the left transept of the Kraken. Wait. Yep. There we go. We need at least one planet to be dedicated to making alloys now, because we don't have enough alloys. Jordan Smith leveled up, good. As a matter of fact, I think we want to build to... Um, What's the wrong star base here? I think we want to build two science ships just to have some uh, scientists that can level up. Interdimensional trade decreases. 
the Mirror Dimension Star Cult of the Tentacle reports that their economy is in decline due to a series of defeats at the appendages of the Warp Beasts. I like this appendages thing. Hopefully they will recover. Can I talk to them? This is my own. No, apparently I cannot. Oh, these have dropped to superior instead of being overwhelming. That's something. We should also have a look at the ship designer because, you know, psionic shields are better than the hyper shields. Uses a lot more... Uh, power but yeah that's actually an issue on these small ships minus 11 I don't think we can use the psionic shields on the uh, corvettes because of that that said might want to change the laser the plasma device not sure it's worth it though i'm not going to bother with those yeah no we'll just leave it as as that, but we'll get a jump drive on it. Destroyer. Can you use psionic shields without going completely off the hook? That's minus nine. I guess we'll have to use a neutronium armor replacement there then. Did I change the sensors on the uh, Corvettes? No, I didn't. The battleships, then. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Minus 255. And I don't think that'll do much. Guess we can do it like that, and then we might be able to get back the afterburners. Yes. Four fourteen hundred and forty. Yeah. So we'll do it like that, and then our Titan. Uh, uh, this is not going to work at all. Three. Four. But we could technically do this and get another one of them on and then use a neutronium armor and then maybe we can do that. Indeed we can. I think we'll have two neutronium launchers on this one. There we go. As for the defensive platforms, we don't really need the shield. Yeah, that looks good. The energy weapons do use more uh, power. Uh, let's get a reactor booster on here then. The 
could upgrade that one as well. Like so. Build a temple here. Get more mining districts and a city district and upgrade the administration building as well. Foundling has arrived in the Dareos system. Good. Then please survey the system. And Construction the next building completed. we want is a corporate embassy. Let's recruit a couple of scientists. Quadrotus, you can be... Uh, do assist research on that one. The other one... Okay, so now I'm going to just recruit and dismiss because I don't want any of these specific types of leaders. Yeah, Eager is good at the moment because that costs less. Seriously? Okay, let's take Nobotics then. And you can go and... Well, we need to colonize the thing first. So I guess you'll assist research on the cathedral for the time being. We have unemployment here. How is the slave situation here? One tentacular. Cost us uh, some credits. Let's move... Uh... No, I don't think that's a good idea. That's one way of dealing with unemployment. The problem, of course, is that it won't solve the problem construction completed on the uh, long run since we need 60 pops to unlock that uh, slot there I guess we'll just have to build a couple of mining districts Temple of Sisypus needs a uh, clinic okay your own gained the trait, probably arrested development, yes. That's a shame. But he is level six. The Blade of the Huntress. After painstakingly combing through the valley of Macvael for any trace of the legendary hunter Huntress, archaeologists were finally able to pinpoint her last resting place. Her fossilized skeleton was found locked in battle with the remains of a large own horned arthropoid, with a claw still clasping the hilt of a perfectly preserved sword. This must be the Blade of the Huntress. The weapon is composed of an unknown material and is sharp enough to cut straight through our strongest armor. Curious, so we found a new relic, Blade of the Huntress, and 20 minor artifacts. That's very nice. That's a nice artifact. Let's proclaim a religious revelation. It's going to take a while to repair that dreadnought, I think. 
1200 per month. Not really sure how we get that, but okay. A new world of opportunities awaits. Let's do the anomaly. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive probing, but could garner a substantial find. Cold hard potential. The left transept of the Kraken is now being colonized. Good. Now, you're not doing anything, but it's not critical that you do either. But let's send you to... Actually, you are assisting research there. So let's send you to do that. And... Your own, you can go... Stop. Whoa, the speed. Assist research on the cathedral. Oh, okay. Explosions in the sky. The moon Dereos Foray is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. Amazing. 20% survey speed and 20% anomaly research speed for 120 months. Well, I don't think we need that at this point of the game, but okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it should be within the catch range of the uh, cathedrals. Now what? Yep, the Senate passed the workers' rights. I want to do an emergency measure on the um, did it disappear I guess it disappeared Maybe it already has passed. Is there a history of... Because I don't think this one is in effect. And I do want that. But I guess either someone vetoed it? And I didn't see that they did? It's fine. Anomalous readings registered. Our science officer has found an anomaly. Blah, blah, blah. Completed. Same thing again. Good. Let's upgrade that to a citadel then. And let's also upgrade this one to a citadel. Teachings of Explorers The CTF Foundling's crew is reporting that they've found something spectacular on Dereos 7. On the surface lies traces of an explorative expedition of another civilization. Left behind are some well-preserved documents and artifacts. The proposed action by Chief, Chief Science Officer Weldon Gaming is to send the text findings to our homeworld for translation. There is also the possibility to sell them off to a private investor. 
No, we will send it to our homeworld has been updated. and we will translate them in case we get uh, one of those nice edicts. Temple of Wunderpus. What do I want here, I wonder? Let's make this planet um, an alloy factory. Construction completed. That planet looks good. No, I don't want to spend alloys on upgrading those at the moment. System survey concluded. Good. I don't know what I should do with you. Uh, A special project has concluded. After many weeks of study, our expert linguists have unearthed the meaning behind the document found on Dareo 7. The documents were philosophical ponderings by a famous scholar, only referred to as Talisa, the teller of tales. Her teachings have provided us with much insight into how to better gain political results via applying different states of mind and use larger scale questions as a focus for reform. It gives access to the Master's teachings, Philosophical Mindset, Empire Edict. Is there anything else to uh, explore? Yes, there is. And we finished the research as well. Matter decompressor, excellent. The matter decompressor lenses a black hole's gravity, forming a drill of gravitational forces to retrieve minerals from the singularity. Um, let's get the uh, sentry array next, I guess. And you're not doing anything, so why don't you go and build an outpost in that system? Construction completed. Okay. Good. Gaining 1,383 per month, so let's go spend some money on alloys. Construction completed. That one is done. We have a fair amount of naval capacity now. But I'm not ready to uh, go into uh, building lots of battleships just yet. 5,000 for the artisan troop to help us, yes. The Ontario Gardener has the resilient trait. 25 years extra lifespan, that is excellent. of Sky has leveled up. Okay, well, I guess we can start upgrading these uh, small star holds or star ports into star holds. Oh, I haven't built anything there. I think that was it. Can make this to a star fortress as well. Same with this one. So this is 23,000 all by itself without even having any kind of defense there. That's excellent actually.
probably should contact the shroud. We we made it. We're inside. Reach into the shroud. A small flickering star materializes inside the shroud. It flies past at incredible speed, and for a second it reveals itself as an alien ship of unknown configuration, and it vanishes in a cloud of psionic energy as quickly as it has appeared. Can it be? Is it possible to physically enter the shroud and then emerge somewhere else entirely in normal space? Linger for a while. Psionic jump drives. Yet another flickering star suddenly appears, but this time we are ready. It is indeed an alien ship, unlike any that has ever been seen in our galaxy. As it flies past us, we feel the mind glow of its crew and their secrets are ours. A psionic jump drive. How ingenious. Research option gained, Psy jump drive. The Science Nexus central hub is now in place, equipped with a state-of-the-art singularity reactor. Our engineers are preparing to add the next most challenging segment to the facility, the four research wings. They will be fitted with pioneering technology, able to withstand everything from violent heat to intense pressure waves and alien pathogens. They will also provide housing for our many researchers. Okay, we are running on a gas deficit. That's not ideal. We need 15,000 alloys, but I'm not willing to pay that price. Okay, so this planet, let's... Uh, Check the population here first and foremost. Yes, we have slaves here, so we need a slave processing facility. Then upgrade that one and the temple. And I guess we can build the agricultural districts as well. Speaking of which, we should upgrade these fleets. The special project has concluded. Dreadnought repaired. This is a momentous day. Our skilled repair crews and engineers have finished their work on the ancient Dreadnought we disabled in the Dereos system. The massive warship has received its full crew complement and been declared ready for service after conducting space trials. A powerful addition to our fleet. 7,387. Ship upgrades applied. Is that actually very powerful? It is worse than our own Titan, but... Well, that's a massive amount of... Uh... I don't think I can refit it. Well, let's uh, put it over here. I'm not sure if I can completed. merge it with one of our current fleets, Research but I hope I can. Concluded. Interstellar Assembly, a meeting place for galactic powers, increasing immigration attraction and global opinion of us. That's good. Let's get the side jump drive, thank you very much. We have enough unity. Let's get the Pursuit of Profit. Specialist pop resource output increased by 5%. I 
you can build the mining stations and you can build the research station. A new world has been colonized. Very good. Now let's go ahead and build another research segment here. Temple of the Belleomne Idea. Um, yeah. We need more gas production, but. We also need the mineral purification plants. And we can upgrade the energy nexus. Also, uh, edicts, terraforming gases, and let's terraform this continental world into. No, not colonize, terraform into an ocean world. Senate is in session, and this one is going to be absolutely insane in terms of our diplomatic weight. Church can build a new building. Was gas we needed? Yes, I think we need to build some uh, gas refineries on this planet. Upgrade the mineral purification plants and build a couple more mining districts and a city district. Temple of Nautilus. Construction completed. I think we'll just have to live with the uh, unemployment here can currently. Or I can upgrade these. Ship upgrades applied. Good. Tech world. How on earth did you decide that this is going to be a tech world? This is anything but a tech world. It currently is not a tech world. Um, I'm going to forget to put it back, but... Um, Either it's a rural world, but I think I want it to have it as a mining world, actually. And I'm guessing we need a slave processing facility here as well, very soon. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Stormfire autocannon. Advanced rotary autocannons capable of spewing a cloud of high explosive shells at a target. Um, let's get the standardized battleship patterns next. And if I'm not mistaken, that planet could be worth it as an agricultural world. Let's terraform it into an ocean world. I don't have any plans of going to war with those guys anyways. This might become a nice... Uh, bureaucratic world or something. As for the others, they are... too small for me to bother with them. 16 might be worth it. I actually think it is worth it. Mm -hmm. 
Construction completed. Construction completed. Okay, so we need to deal with that. Uh, ah, we have plenty of alloys, so that's not a problem. But these things are expensive. Why do I not have deep space black site? I mean, this is in a uh, yes and a hyperlane registrar, please. And resource silos. Hyperlane registrar probably wasn't necessary there, but there was something else. Station foundries. Construction completed. Finish that one. This one. Station foundries first, actually, and then solar arrays. And here I don't have anything yet, so, okay, first of all, uh, Deep Space Black Sight, because I'm pretty sure this is in, yep, it is. Of course it is, otherwise I wouldn't be able to build the Deep Space Black Sight. Um, station Foundries. And I think this is not, no, it isn't. So the next thing then is a large solar panel network and then hyperlane registrar and resource silos and then we just stack up on the solar arrays and that's those stations good. What's the current going price for alloys? Oh, it's within tolerable levels. Let's sell some minerals, some moats, and some crystals. There's a new resolution in the Senate. We still do not want to change the council size to four. Okay, let's move one of them there and the other one here. Construction completed. Good. Um, what else do we want? If anything. Nothing. So, it's just a matter of filling up with the mining base. Good. And this one, anything we need here? Not really, so let's just fill it up with solar arrays. Good. This one has unemployed pops. What? Huh? How? Oh. Construction completed. Yeah, hmm. I guess we'll build an agricultural segment for the slaves. And a city segment as well. And we'll do the same thing here.
Construction completed. Very good. Here we want resource silos and a hyperlane registrar, even though it is a bit out of the way. And then just fill up the solar arrays. Good. Shrine of Spirula. Here we also want to have hyperlane registrar and resource silos. And crap, this is one of those systems where I need to replace everything. That means we need a sp space reprocessing array as well. I've done this at a time where I lacked energy credits, which is not something that we need now. I hope I didn't click wrong there. No, I didn't. Good. Now these guys up here, I believe we have... Yeah, we can form a commercial contract or pact with them now. Good. And now let's have a look at their uh, planets. 47, that's a worthy branch office. 165, ouch. Well, it's worth it. But that means that Anything would have to be very high for me to want to build another one. And there is nothing that is even remotely near where it needs to be for me to want to build a branch office. These guys are actually quite crappy. Yep. Well, one branch office is nice. get another alloy foundry here. Interdimensional trade increases. The Mirror Dimension Star Cult of the Tentacle reports that their economy is booming. Contributing factors mentioned that the Mentioned were our portal trade as well as recent victories over the warp beasts. Excellent. Research concluded. We have completed the research of the sentry array. The stages of the sentry array gradually expand sensor range, eventually covering the entire galaxy. And the final one there is the Dyson Sphere. Standardized battleship patterns, 25% quicker battleship build speed and 5% less build cost. Establishing new standards for how we design and construct massive battleships greatly improves the speed at which they can be assembled. I guess we can take the advanced strike craft. I wonder these colossal... Are we still re... no, we do have the research complete. Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm guessing we can only build the um, Juggernaut in the actual megastructure shipyard. Which does make sense. Somewhere it should tell us how many titans we can have in our fleet. Research concluded. We can actually build more titans in one fleet now. And we have completed the research of Psi Jump Drive, which gives us Psi Jump Drive components. 
The Psi Jump Drive harnesses the Psi energy submitted by the crew to force the vessel through the very fabric of reality, instantly jumping vast distances. Notice that this is a dangerous technology. New research. Um, let's get these uh, small technologies. But I think that it is time to end the episode. Um, we should build an executive retreat there. Yep. Before we end the episode, though, let's have a look at the uh, ship designer and see... Okay, so it uses the same amount of power. That's good. I'm going to call in some rather nasty things from... Uh, the other dimension, I think. we go and finally scroll 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 upgrade upgrade and I wonder can I merge these two yes I can good upgrade and with that I think we have to say uh, that that's it for this time so thank you all so very much for joining me and I will see you all in the next episode